What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop. And if it is your first time here, I go by the name of Spear Spear. What we do here is that we explore and showcase beautiful properties in and around South Africa. Today we're in Bantry Bay. And for those of you that don't know where Bantry Bay is, I get it. Bantry Bay is always treated like that middle child or the third Migos or the third Destiny's child, if you get my analogy, because it's surrounded by these big neighbor or suburbs, Clifton, Camps Bay, Seapoint. That's why you'll never hear anything about Bantry Bay. But today I'm here to show you a gem. I'm at Orem on Victory Road. Now, Orem is a Latin word for rare as gold or simply gold. And today you'll see why, uh, what I mean by these finishes. They top of the market finishes with imported century wear, countertops and the kitchen is all done by Armani Dada. But if you like what you're seeing in this video, do consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up and commenting if this is not the best bathrooms you've seen in an apartment in Cape Town or South Africa, I back that. Firstly, we'll start off in the living room area. Before we get into the tour, massive shout out to Josh, the Camps Bay guy. If you're looking for something in Camps Bay, definitely hit him up. I'll put his, his details in the description. We're back, let's get on this tour. As soon as you walk in, or even before you walk into the apartment, you're greeted by this thick door. It's a vaulted door, so you can't open from the outside. You have to be inside. One of the thickest doors I think I've ever seen. And it is heavy. It is heavy. And as you come in, door locked, vaulted door. This house or apartment is fully electronically connected. So you can switch on things like the underfloor heating, lights and blinds all from your phone anywhere around the world so taking you around the space open plan one thing i do love about this apartment is the light that comes through every single place in this apartment the floor finish in this apartment is exquisite it's a marble look tile and if you could just see the scale of these tiles they are massive <laughs> i've never seen tiles this big which shows the tiles that normally come in this size are normally expensive. So every high quality finish was explored in this apartment. Lovely dining room area, seating for six, air conditioning everywhere. And this well-placed rug, I think, is perfect in this space. It, it complements the marble look perfectly. This um, animal skin console here with all your different ornaments, artworks, lively flowers. And this area right here, I think this complements this whole space perfectly. As you can see, the whole apartment is basically open plan as it flows from the kitchen to the dining room area, to the living room area. So it's almost like a rectangular prism flowing the whole way. I love the floor, it's just open um, and to the point. As you come in here, the views are the first thing you'll notice, but Bang & Olufsen speakers, both sides, TV, highest quality of everything. I love this black marble finish to this table. And the furniture, they did not take a break in terms of picking everything which is high quality in this apartment. Every single thing is on brand with the high quality. That's indicative in the furniture which they used. Uh, there's so many superlatives I could use for this apartment. One thing I really love about this apartment is the play on depth, layers, different textures on top of each other. That gives the apartment so much more um, volume and energy and a little bit more character. And if you look up at the ceiling, you get different levels of the ceiling, which is quite fantastic. You get the, well, what looks like the, the original level, which is suspended one level where the light fittings are then you get another level <laughs> which <laughs> i've never seen these are like three layers of suspended ceiling obviously bulkhead which runs all the way to the kitchen and this light these lightings you get directional lighting and just obviously your area lighting and then should we go i think we should go firstly to the main bedroom then we'll go to the kitchen and then finish off with the other bedrooms Starting off with the main bedroom, as soon as you walk in here, you notice these loudy hingeless doors. The mechanism around this is quite impressive. This door doesn't have a hinge, 
So what happens is that as soon as you close the door, the opposite side actually has a magnet. So the hinge comes out and voila, it gets closed. You see the separation in the living area slash passage and when you go into the uh, the bedroom probably the thickest <laughs> probably the thickest carpet i've ever seen in my life as soon as you walk in it you feel that there's so much volume in this carpet beautiful color a gray dark gray and all of these sanitary fittings in this apartment are imported gassy product um, every single piece here is gassy imported Firstly, you get your crystal plant with a uh, bathtub freestanding with this matte white finish. Really feels good. Uh, one thing I do feel like I have the responsibility from the fans to show is the practicality of high-end products. I feel like sometimes high-end products do have that rep of not being the most practical. So when I was looking at this tub, I was like, how, how do you close the bottom? And it does close, you just have to and that's closed seamless as you would have noticed this bathroom is stepped so you're almost on a platform just a separation between the bathroom and basically the bedroom area because um, it is open plan i think that was necessary so you have this dual vanity set up here with probably yep soft clothes drawers a cabinetry and this marble look finish continues throughout the apartment. You can even see it here as a backdrop, a splashback. It continues here, which is quite a dedication from the designer and builders. Massive mirror. Plants a bit in the way, but it's a massive mirror. And obviously you have the air conditioning, two air conditioning plants in this room, which is quite massive. Um, large aluminium window. Throughout the apartment, you get these large floor to ceiling aluminum windows. Beautiful shower head, steel shower head. Guess it, of course. Um, I've never seen this type of um, fixtures. Um, very interesting, recessed splashback with the marble finish. Beautiful, and uh, the bottom is a different type of cut in terms of the tiling. This is more of a, a panel cut to the tiling, which is more effort than the larger tile so and that uh gibbet outlet is quite impressive it's quite neat and yeah yeah okay let's 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 check yeah soft clothes knew it always believed um, as soon as you come this side you'll see these floor to ceiling windows are massive every single bedroom in this apartment you have the view of the ocean you have this amazing sunset and sun uh, rise view you can have a view of the whales whales in cape town normally come during like peak seasons between july and december but you'll definitely see whales in august and november so you can literally look at the whales while in your bed and if that's not enough, I don't know what is. This bedroom has a, a direct access to the balcony area, which we will see. I think we'll go look at that last. So this bedroom is quite high quality. The, set, the, the open plan feel of this bar, uh, bathroom bedroom is quite unique. You don't often see this type of setup. So coming in this side, this is just the extra guest not guest bedroom but the third bedroom which is not really furnished and staged at the moment so we'll skip that one i know you guys like to see everything but we'll just skip it for now this area here is amazing this is a pause lounge area with a not quite okay it's a stepped floor to ceiling window fen fenestration with views which are to die for you get a full view of victory road these apartments opposite neighboring apartments and obviously the presidential suite orem and the ocean i'm sure later on when the sun does set this view is going to be sensational and this kitchen is a fully amani dada setup kitchen with a seamless look to it you wouldn't even notice where the fridge is. Actually, there isn't a fridge, it's well integrated into this whole setup. You get uh, Agendau appliances, oven, 
and microwave. What's really, I know everything is impressive, but it's the small things for me is that you can change the language in this oven. I found that quite cool. Uh, don't see that often. Beautiful, seamless, sleek. Uh, what should you call this thing again? Faucet. Faucet, faucet tap. Low key in the middle. Faucet app. Faucet app. Yeah, faucet app. Anyways, uh, Blanco. Don't want to waste water. Blanco supplied. And this kitchen is seamless, as I've said. Nice gray, white veined finish on top here. And this dark wood is quite, it's quite musky, it's quite masculine. Um, these are probably also soft clothes. Yeah. Behind you guys there, before I miss it, is the dishwasher. You get your dishwasher here. Fridge set up here. Both your fridge and your freezer. Both in here, if you guys want to take a look in here. So it's a beautiful setup, everything you need, and I think in terms of storage, is it's abundant. This cabinetry is enough for everything you'll need. And this standalone island is just beautiful. I think it just encompasses the space so well. Going into this side, you'll find the junior master bedroom. Before we go there, I think these, these skirtings are quite impressive. You don't see skirtings like that often. Um, very high, very slim. It doesn't really step out. Because I, I feel like with, with some skirtings, they bulge out from the wall. So they low-key eat away a little bit of real estate in the floor area. So coming into this room, also these Laudi imported hingeless doors. Similar to the master bedroom, you just have a different feel. You don't have direct access to the balcony space, but still have <laughs> the view to watch the whales. I think that's important. Um, this is just a Juliet balcony. The thing with this, actually, if you guys notice the sound difference, the these all these windows and sliding doors are double glazed. So the sound is, the sound in here is so different to the sound out there because Victory, Victory Road is so busy. It keeps the noise outside. That's why you won't feel like this is an apartment. You'll feel like this is really a homely home. Anyways, this Juliet balcony has this see-through balustrade, which has a view of the pool area, which we might get a chance to see a little bit later. Beautiful pool area, common, uh, common area amenities. You have this beautiful view of the ocean, even in this, uh, even in this tight angled view. So going into this bathroom setup, it's it's also open plan, but you have these shown tinted doors, which slide and open as such. I think they're quite cool. The finish is is very luxurious. This feel here, it's quite a it's, it feels like a matte finish onto these um, steel light steel um, framings. Similar finishes to the other main bedroom. Crystal plant tub, floating or standalone faucet and uh, sanctuary. Wear. This is quite, I found this really, really unique of having basically the, the toilet in, encased in the glass. You don't normally see that. And next to it, you get the shower head, similar finishes similar flooring stunning beautiful i really love this the the shower head is also really unique you find a lot of unique things in this apartment it's um it's one lip it's not really a head it's a one sheet of steel which has its um water outlets and obviously marble finish top dual mirror what what more can you ask for the 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 one thing which I was saying in the beginning about the Orem and Gold, it was consistent in every single thing. If you look at the doors, the this gold trimming framing around the door, it's gold. So it's in, it's consistent with the theme. You get the gold um, or sort of a yellowish gold furniture, table, 
consistent, we like consistency and obviously we can't go anywhere without speaking about the storage, abundant storage. I mean, you have it all here. And one thing before I forget about it, which is very important and which shows a little bit practicality are these plugs here. You'll normally see plug points in um, these cabinetry or this uh, bathroom setup, but here you have plug points. I don't know what you'd use it for, probably maybe charging your toothbrush, charging your shaver for those that have full beards and God's favorites out there. Um, probably use that to shave your beard and maybe have a haircut. So coming into the side, this is the laundry. This is your laundry room. You have these Siemens two laundry machines, Blanco double sink. And what I love about this area is that you have a, almost even this, this is an apartment, but you have sort of like a, a, a backyard view, which is quite cool. Cause in apartments, you normally feel like you're enclosed by neighbors and other buildings. But here you have this beautiful view of these outside trees. Um, it's quite refreshing. And obviously on a clear day, not like today, you'll have the view of Table Mountain and all that mountain range behind us. Also storage behind here. And here is just the powder room slash guest, not really guest, but this is the powder room. And it wasn't cheated. The, the finishes are consistent here marble look tile finish to the walling everything is consistent Se seamless uh, faucet outlet really really love the consistency and these these black um door frames are quite lovely the feeling behind it i wish like you guys could feel how it feels it's it really feels luxe and this apartment everything is of the highest standard and i think that's consistent everywhere you go um, I think what we'll finish off is the view and the pool area. I did promise you guys the view. Finally at this view, it really is stunning. It's picturesque views, but you'll notice that these doors are very heavy, but you'll notice that how loud it is outside here because you are on main road, but that's just an, attribute, an attributing factor to how well inclays the, these windows are see-through balustrades, consistent with the with the with the bedrooms, and you. And one thing which is really impressive is that on the exterior of this whole apartment block is that you still get this marble look finish through the whole apartment block, which is very impressive. You, you don't see anything like that. It gives this place that whole luxe golden feel to it. So if you're looking at the view, I mean, it's, it's almost sunset right now. You can see exactly what I mean. Sensational, picturesque views. You see a boat or a ship in the far distance currently anchored. Oh yes. <laughs> then this obviously is a victory road. And where we're going to finish this video is downstairs, the pool area. You can even see it from here. Let's go downstairs the pool area guys this place is a sensational i think everything comes together here this amazing pool area proper proper infinity pool area you have even like a rainwater edge where the water just trickles down into this slit here in a sunny day unfortunately today is a bit a bit cloudy but on a sunny day this area comes alive and you can see like the quality comes alive and it's consistent here and to finish it off guys, I think this property was one for the books, the high quality finishes, the proper attention to detail and everything was imported. I think that whole kitchen was imported. The electrical setup is also convenient for um, just a lock up and go if you need to make sure that things are switched off at home. And closing it off, massive shout out to Josh, um, the Cam's Bay guy, I'll link his details in this description. And if you are interested in this property, contact him directly. He'll show to help you. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below if you've seen a better apartment, three bedroom apartment than this apartment from us at this prop in. See you soon. Hey,